With the plan and profile sheets finished in the last video, now we will focus on creating section or cross-section sheets in Civil 3D. To create the cross-section sheets, we will use the design that was developed in the first four videos of our series. Start from a new drawing that uses our template styles. Set the working path for the data shortcuts to the project folder. Now use data shortcuts to bring in the existing ground surface, the design surface, the center line alignment, and any other information you would like to include in this drawing. To create the cross sections, you will need a reference alignment, in this case, our stream center line alignment, and reference surfaces, in this case, the existing ground and design surfaces. In the menu bar, navigate to Sections, click Create Sample Lines. Select the stream center line alignment, or press Enter to select the alignment from a list. From this pop up, we are going to define the section styles for each of the surfaces. For the existing ground surface, select RVR, EG, and for the design surface, select RVR. Design. Click OK to close the pop-up. From here, there are a few options for creating sample lines. For this example, we will go over three options, including create sections by interval, creating sections using a manual placement, and creating sections from polylines. For our first example, we will create the sections at a defined interval. In the sample line tools dialog box, click the drop-down, like shown above, and select by range of stations. In this dialog box, you can define the swath width for each side of the sections. For this example, I set both the left and right swaths to be 50 feet. Here you can also set the interval to which the sections will be created. For this example, we will create sections at 100 foot increments along both tangent and curved sections. From this box, you can also create sections at the start and end of segments and at geometry points. Once you are finished, click OK. Now press enter to close out of this command. For our second example, we will manually create the sample lines at user clicked places along the alignment. For this example, we create sections at the midpoint of every other tangent curve pair. The initial process is the same as the first example. Once you have chosen the display styles for the surfaces, click OK. Now you can go directly to clicking the places you want to create sections along the alignment. You can type mid into the command line to turn on the mid snap. After you click the alignment, now type what swath width you want for each side of the section. Press enter, then move down to your next point. For this example, I will only add a few sections to the alignment. With the sections drawn, you can go in and manually adjust the section's width and whether they are perpendicular to the alignment. Click the sample line and click and drag the square handle to adjust the sample lines. You can also click the diamond handle to move the sample line along the alignment. The final example for creating sections or sample lines will show you how to create the sample lines from polylines. For this example, I have already drawn in the polylines that I will use as my sample line locations. The initial process is the same as the previous two examples. Once you have chosen your display styles, click OK to close the first box. From the sample line tools dialog box, click the drop down and click select existing polylines. Now click the first sample line, press enter. Go down to the next sample line, click it, then press enter. Continue this process until you have sample lines at all of your polyline locations. Now that all the sample lines have been created, change the model space scale to match the template drawing. In this case, 1 inch equals 20 feet. To create section views, click Sections in the menu bar. Click Create Multiple section views. From the create multiple section views dialog box we can adjust how the section will look. In the general tab of the dialog box you can select the alignment the sample line group is associated with, the sample line group, the range of stationing you want to create views for, the section view name, the section view layer, and the section view style. For this example we will use all the default values for the general tab. Click next. In the section view placement tab click the ellipsis and navigate to your template drawing. Select a group plot style, then click next. The default values in the remainder of the tabs are what we will use for the rest of this dialog box. Click through them. When you are finished, click the Create Section Views button. To create the section views, click an empty place in your model space. Click on one of the section sheets. This will bring up a series of icons in the ribbon. Click the Create Section Sheets icon. From the Create Section Sheet dialog box, you can adjust the alignment, sample line group, and section view group. You can also adjust the layout name. Now click the ellipsis and navigate to the Sheet Set Manager. Click Open. Click Create Sheets. Click OK. This will create the section sheets in the Sheet Set Manager. Like before, select the sheets in the Sheet Set Manager and drag them into their subset. 
Double click the sheet in the sheet set manager to view the section sheet. Adjust the sheet name by right clicking the sheet in the sheet set manager and clicking properties. Sheet line 3 will be the range of stations of sections on the sheet. Sheet line 2 will be the section sheet number. Name the remainder of the section sheets. If you found this video helpful, please like it. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing to our channel. In our next video, we will go over setting up detail sheets. Now delete the layout sheet. Delete the subset. For the final step, type DWG props into the command line. Copy the name of the drawing and paste it into the title space on the summary tab. This will line us up to add a sheet list table in a later video. Thank you for watching.